are you guys doing? Welcome. Guess what today is? It's Lojo's here day. Hey, guy right there. So it's, it's Lojo day. Everybody loves Lojo. He came in from Alabama, which it's really tough to get the DFW if you're coming in from Bama. It is like a 16. He literally could have flown to Japan. That's how long it takes to get here. He's got to get like two different flights, two hour drive to the airport. It's absolutely miserable. So thank you for coming all this way, buddy. I'm so excited. He's yeah. coming to figure out the storage unit game. I haven't done a lot of sitting because there's also not a TV up on this wall. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I just have that TV over there, but it's, it's uh. It feels like we should be looking at something. This yeah, we're direction. not though. We're not, but I, I got the, see look on my desk there so I can kick on football in the morning, like listen to it while I'm editing. No, this is sick. This is a sick view. You got a TV right in front of the desk and you got the windows right here. Little warehouse view, keep an eye on you, it. You want you want to go take a look at what's out there? You want to see this operation go. that's going on? I gotta go. I gotta go see this, buddy. Show me. Dear Lord, you have a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> well, this you is saying that I got a problem. This is you nothing. have a problem here, Zach. Zach, he's telling me he thinks this is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that. This back is. Cat. <laughs> you have missed. Zach, this is uh, this is a lot, man. You've got a lot going on here for old RobertTurkla.com, which is just a <laughs> booming website right now. From what I hear. So Lojo's about to learn a bit of a hard lesson in life, right here, folks. You ready for this? I just pulled these out of a box. Here you go, Lojo. Go ahead and just hold on to that thing right there. You guys see this? So take a gander. Would that have been trash in your eyes? It looks like. It looks like trash, right? It looks pretty trashy. Looks pretty trashy. What do we have here? Two vintage 70s diamond cut Hollywood Regency glass. What'd they sell for? Plus shipping. $160. $160 plus $40 in shipping because they came from Canada. This thing? $200. Ow. It's a, it's a light. It's like a little mini chandelier. I don't get it, but it, the price is what it is. I wonder if it's like the glass. No, it's. I'm telling you, it's that vintage era stuff that people are trying to put back into their home. That's all it is. That's all it is. They're trying to find it, and this is it right here. And these are in really, really good shape too. That man is beautiful. If you're into that. So this is how I found something like this because I personally would not know how. Like, okay, so this is a very good example. I wouldn't know what this was called, so I use Google, take a picture of it, and it literally pops up and facilitates me with the actual name of that within like two seconds. And then all you gotta do is take that name and then put it in the eBay and you know exactly. Like look, look at them, there they are. How did I find those things? Who would have known? 70s diamond cut Hollywood Regency glass pendant hanging with light brass. Like I would have never, <laughs> how am I gonna know that? So that is just the stage one for Lojo's learning process of this whole storage unit deal. Now I was actually filming yesterday, so we'll let you guys know. It was a toasty one yesterday. I'm not gonna say that. Sharpest tool in the shed. Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder. What are you doing? So I'm sure there's gonna be some people who are angry with me for throwing away these pieces. I, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it could be something you wanna do inside of your garage, build up these things, or excuse me, not build them up, but, but scrape them down, repaint them, refurbish them, do all that kind of stuff. That's not really my forte. And honestly, there's not enough money in it for me to really care because these things take up a lot of space. These older ones, you might make like 50 to $100, but you have to do a lot of work. It takes up a lot of space, like I said, a lot of space. And it might be sitting there for months. I don't wanna build up trash at all. Now my model is not going to work the same as y'all's model. You guys may love furniture, may love it. I will keep certain pieces, but that is it. Don't look at what I'm doing. I know it's going to piss off a lot of people, but it's just the way I do business. I don't want any trash. I don't want it to be cluttered. don't want it to build up. I don't want to say, hey, you know what? I might sell that later on down the road on Facebook Marketplace, or I might list it, or it might sell three months from now. It takes up too much space and it's mediocre at best. Yeah, see, I thought these looked like pretty good 
pots and pans right here. I've never heard of this brand, but my God, they sell pretty well. Like that little skillet right there sells for $89 brand new. Oh, and right, that one piece. Uh, two piece, those two pieces right there, 70 bucks. Wow, this thing right here, 65 bucks. That's definitely, these are all going to go up on auction. These are all really good. There's Nutribullet right there. Yeah, there's two or $300 right there. That's pretty good. Those are actually in really good condition too. Oh God. Jeez. This is one of the only pieces other than the interior brass portion of this thing that's worth any money. People actually buy piano keys, I think in like lots of 10 for like 20 bucks or something like that. I say 20 bucks, but 20 bucks is shipping. I guess they use them for art. It's kind of insane when you think about it. The amount of work that went into making this piano right here. Like, look at all this. Look at all this. Now they're worth nothing. No one wants pianos. I mean, you can get on Facebook Marketplace in your guys' area, and I guarantee you there are free pianos everywhere. People just want to remove out of their house. Oh, pianos. Okay. Oh God, right in the nuts. Can we lift it now? Kinda. God! Oh, I don't recommend that. Holy Toledo, I'm lightheaded. So you guys know that unit we picked up the other day? I'm kind of going through the last of the few boxes. I just listed the Concept 2, had a little bit of trash coming out of there, but this is the Concept 2. I'm gonna get, I know I'll get 750 for this thing. We paid 920 for the unit, so there's 750 coming back on the Concept 2. Now, I found this painting when I was in there, and I was like, oh, this is, actually looks pretty nice. And then you look at the back, and it's actually an original by this guy, Anup Bondari. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't know much about paintings. Apparently this guy's kind of a, a decent deal. I guess he's an Indian film director and he's actually made a bunch of movies. Did not know this. I was like, oh, what the heck? So does he have paintings? Yeah, look, his whole estate of paintings actually did go up for auction. This is actually pretty recently. Look at this. All these paintings, $800, $896, $125. So is this one signed though? That one is signed. Eight. So I guess the dog paintings don't go for as much. $800, $896, whatever that is. 560, 253, 875, 2100 dollars, 435, 315. I don't know. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna auction off an original by this guy, Anup Bandari. I don't know if the painting is supposed to go this way, this way, or this way, or this way. I, I honestly god don't know, but it actually is pretty decent looking. I don't really I don't understand art. Oh no, I see, I see, I see. It's supposed to go this way. He actually signed it down here. So I'm gonna go over here and hand it to my guy, Zach, and we're gonna add it to the uh, weekly auction, which by the way, I've added some pretty cool items. I added a Des Bryant autograph, this vase, this whole thing that says rookies and prospects. I don't even know what's in that. Aladdin lamp. There's a bunch of random stuff in here. All right, you turn it on. 
You are turning her on. Are you gonna open for me? Oh, SpongeBob's in there. Looks like we have an Xbox to auction off. I kind of enjoy the auctions. Gives you guys an opportunity to get something maybe at a cheaper cost, but it just gives everything, I don't know, it makes everything fair game. There's certain items kind of like this brother though that there's just no need to auction because they sell so much. I guess I don't really need to auction that Xbox either, but there's a lot of these things selling and they sell a lot. Uh, how much does this bad boy go for? Uh, I would assume it's probably, we're gonna put it up for auction. I would assume it's at least three to four hundred dollars. See, you should just buy at that least? and slap that thing right up on the wall. Right I already own it, I don't have to buy it. Well, that, that's a good point. <laughs> Dude, tell me you remember this era. Of, of phone technology. I know there's people watching that don't, but there's also people watching that remember, we didn't always have the big fancy touchscreen smartphones. At one point in time, this was breaking technology. Look, oh, wait for it. Oh my God. Look at how big my finger is on the keyboard. That's just kind of dumb right there. We got a little better in that department, I think. So we're actually gonna leave Zach here so he can finish up packing from last week's auction. If you guys have not paid for those dang auctions, what are you doing, Bill? Come on now, I see you right now, buddy. No, nah, seriously though, we're gonna be running auctions. Actually, when this video is going live, this week's auction is now live. So every single Wednesday, Wednesday to Monday, is weekly auctions running on the site. So go check that out. We got a lot of, a lot of really cool stuff listed on this week's auction. So this is gonna be a first for myself. Actually, I think I've looked at one before, but it's gonna be Lojo Cam today. Lojo yeah, Cam. Lojo Cam. We're gonna do some firsts today. Oh, wait a second. This is a whole new camera system. Man, look at this place, wow. Okay. So we used to have Holy stuff moly. out here, but we have stores that they need to take the grid down, so take the grid down. Where do you, where to begin? Is this uh, one of the larger collections you've ever seen? Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff, yeah. I mean, it's, this is like seeing a, uh, I would say this is like buying a storage unit of stuff you know that's there. There's medical equipment over uh, here, this, canes, walkers. It's gonna be like. Shower stools. Yeah, give us a little quick comp right here. Fun fact, I worked in the physical therapy realm, so. Okay, so these things do sell. Does she know how much she wants for everything? Do you guys have any idea? Somewhere around seven to uh, 10. Safety. Yeah, I see some scattered stuff. Some more ornaments for you, buddy. Big oh, ornament, you big ornament guy these big days. Ornament guy. <laughs> An Iowa Hawkeye spatula. Now we're talking. Talk about stepping your grilling game up. Oh, shoot. Dude, buy this for me. Big Florida fan over here. Dude, look at this wall of games, man. Talk about a freaking throwback from our childhood. Like, yeah, a lot of these are sealed. They're already yeah, shrink wrapped. I mean, so like this one had $60 on it. So I mean, some of these are going to be pretty good. Yeah. All those is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of good stuff right there. All the, so all those will sell. All the Funkos will sell those. They don't, they don't sell like super fast and like, some, the thing is you gotta look at every single one. Stuff I'd wanna buy is probably all this. Mm -hmm. All of this. Medical supplies. Medical. It's a bunch of guns, accessories, scope mounts, rings. That's not bad. I mean, cause those are, some of those are like 20 a pop. Duck calls or coyote. So that box has probably got some value right there. There's some boat accessories, cleats, ropes, mounts, random sports memorabilia. This is like wiring kits for vehicles. A bunch of different wiring kits. Yeah, I used to have to buy a bunch of these back in the day when I would steal radios and then sell them to other people. <laughs> and, and I, is that what you were doing? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I get it. allegedly, <laughs> but you know, I'd throw in the free installation as part of the yeah, yeah, of the yeah. deal, and I'd have to go to Walmart and buy a little uh, wiring kit. Now these are kind of like vehicle specific, so but I'm sure they still sell. Ooh, a bunch of trailer hitchies. Oh yeah, truck accessories, bunch more automotive stuff. It's a lot of stuff here, boys. I think Rob needs some new floor mats. These old gas station signs, those are always so cool. <laughs> this might be by far the largest assortment of random things that I've ever seen outside of a yard sale situation. Okay, now this is a ton of fishing lures here. We're talking about an actual ton. There's like 150 inline spinners right here. Oh my lord. 
Look what I found, Rob. Oh my God, are it's you meant, kidding me? It's meant to be. <laughs> oh oh man. Crazy. Now I just want to go digging further in this box right here. Oh my Lord, there's another one. Oh, some waders. I mean, how many people would love to have this, this box of fishing lures? That's my favorite color jig that we make right there. Score. More inline spinners. This is a crappy fisherman's dream right here. Some flies. Oh man, look at that. It's bedazzled. That should be a challenge video right there. Where are you at mentally like, as far as numbers go? Where am I? I, I don't know. It's a lot of, a lot of smaller. Yeah. A lot of shippable. Mm -hmm. I think very easier. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her where she wants to be. Yeah. I don't know if I can pay five grand for everything. It's just a lot of work. What do you think about that? Like three grand, to be truthful. I know it sucks to hear that. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of... I'm just looking at the amount of time it takes to ship each item no, and no. list and... No, I probably no. know what you guys want to hear. No. I just, I'm just looking from each item. It's probably I, a few, few, few weeks of just listing. I completely understand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, although I do have your book. I need you to sign before you... Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> oh, you got it. Okay. I do. The, uh, nice. How you became a member. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to give it to my nephew, actually. Oh, good. Now that I just watched. Yeah. Now, I'll hook you up. I got some rods. I've probably got 30 or 40 rods at the house. Really? That'll none of them used. I ordered three rods when y'all... Before they came out. I really? ordered them. I pre-ordered them. Nice. I ordered oh, three, awesome. three rods before okay. y'all came out. So, would you do four with the pictures or three without the pictures? Do you, think I can sell, do you think I can sell the pictures? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do it that yeah. way. These are cool way. pictures. How much do you want for these ones? These ones are easier. This is kind of a cool texture. I don't know what this is. It's wood. Oh, this is wood back yeah, here? So oh, yeah, wow. they're, they're on wood and then it has a UV protective coating on it. So and that's oh. what that, that is. It's also glare resistant, so. It's like a variety These of shit. These are all different. I'll, I'll give her four grand for all of them. Does that work? I've spent thousands on way worse things, so. We plan it works. on I do have my phone. Well, that was uh, fairly simple. He's actually a viewer. He's been watching for quite a long time. Uh, it's so so cool to meet you guys and, and actually do something productive because the late, his, what was it, his sister-in-law? I think it was his sister-in-law. She had a really yeah. unfortunate thing happen. Her husband had passed away and they didn't really know what to do with the stuff. And this is not the first time I've actually heard of this and had somebody reach out over. If you guys ever want me to come look at a, I don't know, buying a storefront or maybe buying your collection from you or you had a un like an unfortunate situation happened where you don't know what to do with the stuff that you have you guys can always send me over an email there's like a a, a thing that says collection submission on the website robertturkler.com which is linked in the top description i'll go over the images you guys send over and i might give you a call like i did with him so he just so happens to be living roughly oh, this place was like 45 minutes or so yeah not bad at all nice people very nice people. do you feel good about the deal yeah i do unfortunate situation for those folks but um you know uh there's a lot of stuff there this is my first time seeing anything like this too, so I was kind of blown away by the variety. What was that? I have no idea. We should run over something. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. I heard it. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Um, things are happening here. We're in the middle of nowhere, in Texas. I'm a little on edge right now. Yeah, I feel good about it though. I mean, having never seen any storage units ever and having no knowledge at all, I feel great about this. How but, do you feel? By the way, that's question. not a storage unit. That was that was just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Well, Tomorrow yeah, yeah, you I, might I, be seeing one, or the day after you might be seeing one. There you go. Dude. And then, I don't know if you need more baits, but you can take some of these. I don't need any money for this, don't worry. You can take it all. Does that work? Torque? I got you, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah. $175 on what? That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Oh my God, look at you. Just selling everything. Well, we still need Bill to pay for his <laughs> oh, Bill, what are you doing, Bill? Oh, God bless. Tomorrow we have at least a 26-foot enclosed trailer of stuff coming. All those bins got, and basically we're just gonna instantly sort from eBay and eBay website, and then of course auction stuff. And we have like a mixture. It's like kind of like a bunch of random stuff, but it's all got barcodes, should be kind of easy. A bunch of like old people stuff, like toilets, walker stuff. <laughs> He's freaking out over there.
just to keep Zach on his toes. I just wanted to okay. show you. Do you see that? Look, look. No, I saw it earlier. Yes. How does that's, it make you feel? Is that not it? Is that it? That's it. Well, as soon as I saw the rock of Chickamauga, <laughs> then, it, then it all came back. Yeah, did you tell the whole story? I, haven't told, well, I told the dental story. They don't know that you were a part of that whole deal, though. That's yeah. the thing. So 19th. Uh, battalion or uh, infantry training regiment or whatever it it's is. It's like at first Fort and Benning. 19th, second and 19th. Yeah. Yeah. I was in 219 for yeah. Foxtrot 219, and you were in Echo Echo 219 in our basic training it's classes. Funny, isn't it? Which was like a year apart or something like that. But it's wild that we went to the same place basic training wise, and then it's even wilder that you found a sign, like an authentic sign from that exact unit. So that's just a crazy kawinky dance right there. Here's my, my nightly time check. So Lojo, Lojo doesn't know that this actually takes a little bit of work to do this kind of business. It's now 10.50 at night. He's tired as all can be. He traveled from Bama. Mm -hmm. But we're about to get our nightly or our daily numbers update. We're negative 26,120 and positive 68,033 going into this. Update those numbers, baby. Zach, we're, we're not, we're, we're, we're waiting on you. Oh. I thought, I thought it was going to happen right away. <laughs> this, 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 this is not a quick process. You have to log out of this Wi-Fi, oh, log into the other Wi-Fi right? for each one. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, you what do. What kind of system is this? I don't this? know. It's kind of right, janky. Now we're going to change the negative first <laughs> of everything we switch. He's actually, it's right. You have to log out of the Wi-Fi to log into the Wi-Fi. Right, you have to hit a Holy. check mark, and then you have to send it. Yeah, it's a... Oh! oh! Oh, I forgot what were we at before? Twenty six thousand what? How many? How, how many? How much negative do we add, Zach? We had a minus seventeen fifty five. Is okay. what we added on. To All right, so we added seventeen hundred in in expenses. What do we got? Hit, hit, hit me with your best shot. We're at sixty eight zero three three. Gotta log out at ten. <laughs> Give me five minutes. All right, sixty eight thousand. I'm gonna take another drink. Take well, a guess. I'm hoping it just goes over seventy. Like I feel like that would be cool to go ahead and round that off. Round you know? it up. I, I would hope it goes to 73. Oh, so, so how, that's how a long? full week then. So a that week? Might, that might be more. Than oh, it's that, been a right? week? Really? Oh my God, yeah. So, so I might be looking at 75. Oh, I, ho I hope. Oh, no, no, no. We got to be doing a thousand today. Here we go. Oh, oh 74. 583. That was six. That was six. Oh, just almost a thousand a day. Almost a thousand a day. Okay, good. That's what we got to be at is a thousand a day to keep, to, keep, to keep the lights on here. God bless it. So we went from 68 to 74, 583. I mean, that's pretty good numbers. You're looking at a 50K difference right there. Is this, is this good enough for you or no? Absolutely. I mean, to lose 1,700 and then to gain over 6,000 on the other side, oh, I think that's, that's, a, that's, a, a, good, that's a good way to look a at good it. Trade. Hey, did you hear that, Zach? That's a good trade right there. Well, Seven, well, negative 1,700 and then gaining almost 7,000. If every time you spend $1,700, you're gaining 7,000, that's winning. I mean, right? God, I mean, you're, you're a math Even addition. with like operating costs, overhead and things, right. you know, that's still so good. The total green after everything is sitting at 18 or, a little, or we're almost at 19,000 in profit. That's including startup costs and what you've spent. Nice. Oh, you're oh yeah, because he doesn't know about that other number. So now we're sitting about 19K in profit. And I know about two weeks ago, we were like dead even, right? Yeah. We were we like, were so in, wow. in, in about two weeks, we've added almost $20,000 in profit. Wait, so y'all been getting yeah, busy out here. Yeah, you're getting busy, son, I like it. Golly. My boy over here has been keeping tabs like to, to the T, because we want to make sure you guys at home are getting the trustworthy, accurate, solid numbers. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We got Lojo over the next few days. We're going to get butt naked and wrestle here in a little bit, and I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. I will catch you guys on tomorrow's episode.